If you guys thought the camber gauge was easy, the toe plates are even easier. So if you watch my E39 alignment, you know that I made my own toe plate so I could adjust the toe, both front and rear, and these are what I used. It's pieces of aluminum square stock because it's going to be perfectly flat. I cut two pieces that are at least two feet long so that they are wider than the wheel. And what you're going to do is you're going to place this down towards the bottom of the rim about four inches off the ground. Same height on either side. You're going to mark in the middle and you can line that up with the center of the wheel. And to hold these on the faces of the wheel, you're going to use bungee cords. So I just wrapped a bungee cord around the center of this side and the other, pulled them together and attached them underneath the car and these were held perfectly flush against either wheel on both sides of a car. Once I had them set up, I could then use two different measuring tapes, the same distance on either end, and then I would measure the difference between the two measuring tapes. So if the front one was at 72 inches and the back one was at 72 inches and 1 eighth, I know that I had 1 eighth of an inch toe in because the front was closer together. Now, as I mentioned, I had to check to make sure that these were not facing two wheels to the left or two wheels to the right, it'd still be the same distance front and back to make sure that they were facing forwards. So you can either measure off a midpoint in the car or you're gonna have to do a string alignment, which again is in the video, which I'll link up here. But this is a super basic toe plate. It's gonna help you at the track, in your garage, anywhere you can do a quick little alignment just to make sure everything's okay. Even if you're buying a new car, you can do a quick alignment check before you drive it home. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.